Hey guys, today I want to show you what kind of coat my first generation Aussie Doodle has. Um, so I got my Aussie Doodle with nine weeks. He's sleeping right here in front of me and he has a wavy coat, which is typical for most, if not all, first generation Aussie Doodles. So let's have a look. So here's Teddy. He's a first generation Aussie Doodle, as I already said. And as you can see now, the hairs are all pretty much, a lot of them are straight. But you can also see in other areas that they are wavy, but you can't really see that as the individual hairs. If you look at it from afar, it just looks straight, which some of them are, but you can see others. For example, here, they're wavy. Or here, they're also starting to get more wavy as he is getting older. Are you sleepy? <laughs> you can see it very well also on his back that the hairs are getting more and more wavy as he's getting older. But here you might be able to see some of his wavy hairs. Like here. Don't move. <laughs> They're not exactly straight, but from far away, you can't really tell that they're wavy. You can only see that they look pretty much straight. But now if we look at the coat on his back, <laughs> here, um, <laughs> you might not be able to see very well, but the hairs here, they're getting more and more curly and pretty much um, they're also denser than in other areas. He didn't used to have this before, but this is quite a recent change to his hair, which also makes it quite difficult to cut. But, yeah. At least if you make mistakes while cutting, you can't tell. Um, you can't tell because Wavy coats are generally are hard to cut and you can't see which parts are longer and which are shorter that way. I don't know if you can really tell, but if you touch the coat here, you can really feel the difference. But here it's pretty much wavy going on into curly and up here it's pretty much still straight. Yeah, as I said, he didn't used to have this before, but this was quite recent. As he was growing, this started to happen, and I'm suspecting that this is going to happen here as well in the future when he's growing, because he's only five months right now, so a lot of changes can still happen. And even on his tail, you can see that these hairs are, you know, curling around his tail instead of the other ones, which are just straight. <laughs> Don't like that. But one thing that he still has, um, that hasn't changed since he was a puppy, is his curly ears, the curly hair around his ears, which I just showed you before. Doesn't really like it when I touch his ears too much, but here underneath his ears, if you can see, it gets pretty curly here. <laughs> he just wants to sleep. Yeah, so that's the coat of my first generation Aussie Doodle. And if you're looking for um, an Aussie Doodle that has real curls and not just a wavy coat, I can link you to one of my articles in my description. And if you're wondering if Teddy sheds at all, right now he's still shedding a little bit because he's still losing his puppy coat, but um, the amount of shedding should minimize after he's lost his puppy coat, and then hopefully he will shed almost nothing. 
um, even now the amount of shedding is very low compared to other breeds. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you're getting a puppy yourself, you can check out my puppy crash course. I'll link it in the description. It's free to sign up. And you'll learn the first few things that you need to know when you're getting a puppy. Okay, bye. Teddy, why are you eating the floor?